Hello, Elizabeth. Hello, Roz. Okay, so now we're going to start our survey. Yep, so this is just after the cows have moved out. And uh, we see that it is quite heavily grazed. Yeah. And here I think we're in the middle of one of the cow paths that you're, yeah. what you're filming yeah. now. So they walk along the fence here. Yeah. And um, we see that the only things they really left are these dead dry stalks that have zero nutritional value yeah. and then they've been grazing the green stuff uh, which is the usual species composition of a few different grasses and then a lot of this um, dandelion dug corpa and uh, yeah. yarrow yeah. and some clover yeah so Yeah, it was uh, quite grazed, right? Yeah. Yeah, the first two, three weeks, you barely could, you could barely see that there had been animals on the land. Yeah. But then it started... So you're walking along grazed. one of the cow paths now. Yeah, yeah. And now the last few weeks, it's, uh, it's basically looked like this. And of course now at the end of the season, the... Uh, tempo of growing is very slow but here you see it's like fresh green grass still coming yeah. up this late in the season so even the though there's October often frost. October 62 degrees north. Like yeah it's here. end of October almost November but here you see it's growing basically out of a cow paddy so that mm -hmm. could be why they've left it alone because they don't want to put their they don't eat put where... their mouth in their old poop and eat something yeah. that comes out of it. Until probably next year it will all be soil again I guess. Yeah I think so. Uh... Yeah it'll be really nice to map these paths that they're taking on a geographical information systems right? Yeah. And then uh, and then ideally fly drones along their routes to take like day by day you know yeah. videos of what is their selective effect on the right subset of the plant communities and that would be really interesting i think yeah yeah it will be uh, interesting to see the species composition here next year yeah uh, and you can see this neighboring field is the one that was uh, harvested very late in the season yeah you see it's a it's a shade of green so a little bit fresh growth managed yeah. to come up now before yeah this is the season. one that frederick just harvested yeah uh, it was just a few weeks ago yeah, yeah. Uh, and so that's of course our control plot where we do not let the animals graze uh, just like this used to be for 40 years or so so uh, quite excited to study the sort of the evolution of the rhizosphere ecology the plant community ecology the pollinator load and all sorts of things uh, between the two fields and the more intensively managed field too over there right how many master species are here <laughs> well, I, I mean know, I it's know. like easily six or so i mean since every discipline is so narrow you could have one master studying the soil uh, Yep. microbiology you could have one studying soil composition you know even just yeah. within one field, yeah. you could look at different and, aspects and soil invertebrate biology so, yeah. which is uh, yeah. a 10x magnitude and, yeah. and of course if you have a great student who has technical skills in IT or mathematics computer science we could actually have them program these drones and uh, so that we can have videos and uh, do identification and classification of different species and so on. Oh, they're coming back to pick up uh, the grapes. Oh yeah, right. Let's go, go help them out. Help them out. Yeah. Okay. <laughs>